YouTube, welcome back. And today's video is going to be a little bit different today on the channel. So, it's 2022 and you want to learn how to make content and be a content creator. Or you just want to stream on Twitch as a hobby. However, you've been streaming for a few months and you're wondering, how can I get that viewership up? How can I get more followers and how can I grow my channel more? And the truth is, you can't really grow on Twitch. Streaming and using Twitch alone is probably one of the worst ways to grow yourself as a brand and grow yourself as a content creator. So I'm going to run through a few tips and a few experiences from myself on how you can grow your channel. Now videos of the past will tell you to network, network, network and make friends. Friends and networking is a great platform and a great tool. However, doing it the incorrect way is the worst way to do it. If you're joining thousands and thousands of discords and clearly just putting your links in wherever you are, expecting those people to come to you to make friends, you're doing it wrong. For me, just join one or two and make friends with close people, people within your niche, people within the games that you play, people that share the same hobbies as you. However, one thing you have to realize with this is you're networking with other streamers. Now, networking with other streamers is great to get one or two people to come in and say hi, but Keeping a consistent viewer and keeping that consistent follower just isn't going to work. They have their own content to make, their own community to grow, you know? So this swiftly brings me on to the next tip. Now, if you're really serious about content creation and want to create your brand, create a brand that people will recognize and know. Now, it's great setting up your gamer tags, whatever you want and going with that. But to really sell yourself, you can't just have Warzone Slayer 420 Blazer, can you? So who, who's going to market that? Nobody. Nobody's going to market it. And people just simply won't take you seriously. If you're making a brand, you need to tighten everything so everything's the same between Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Don't just stick to generic gaming logos. Make something unique that's personal to yourself. That brings me on to my next point. The best way to grow any channel and to get yourself out there is to focus on other content. Now, let's say, for example, you are a Call of Duty streamer and you're thinking of uploading your gaming clips to TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Hover. My best advice for using short form content is to make your content short. Just having a clip where you're running around, reloading, hiding, and it's a big 30 second clip and all you do is die. Ain't nobody gonna watch that. <laughs> People aren't gonna be interested with that side of yourself. If you cracked at a game, show those amazing kills, show those amazing quick scopes, just, Make the content short. As well as making it short, make it to the point. Start off, introduce what you're doing, show the clip, done. End of. And, and with that, short form content is a fantastic way to get other people in that are not streamers, who are just gamers, who are just normal members of the public, to come and view you on Twitch, on YouTube, and all that other stuff. Because again, you've got to think outside the box here. You don't want streamers to come and watch you, you want other viewers to come and watch you. Just like I said previously, streamers have other content to make. They don't want to be sitting around just supporting you all the time. So personally for me, the best exposure and the best platforms you can use is TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, make YouTube videos, make content outside of streaming, reduce those streaming hours down and make content elsewhere. Because again, unfortunately, Twitch is a very narrow platform. Everybody on there is a streamer. You do have views on there, but they're gonna be watching the people that aren't you. And you need to prove to them why they need to come and watch you. And the only way they can do that is just to promote your content elsewhere. Now, I'm not saying these points are gonna make you blow up overnight. Now, it does happen to some people, luckily, they blow up overnight, get the instant success and fame. But doing these tips might just help you grow a little bit. Now, me personally, I've been making content for two years and due to full-time work, I haven't grown massively. However, if it wasn't for YouTube, if it wasn't for TikTok, I wouldn't be anywhere further than where I am. Now, another point I want to reiterate that I said earlier, making niche content. Making niche and single game content is another easy way, I wouldn't say an easy way, but a, a better way to grow. But simply, I used to make content in all sorts of games. Euro Truck, BMG Drive, used to swap and change. But you've got to think with that, you're swap and changing your demographic, you're swap and changing your audience every other day. People that come in and watch your BMG Drive stuff may not want to come watch your Euro Truck stuff. Now, I'm not saying to not do this, but if you want to be known as a streamer who does a certain game, do a certain game that you really enjoy. Whether that be Peggle, for example. I wonder if there's a big Peggle community out there. Or Candy Crush. 
But anyway, that's besides the point. I've met so many fantastic people from just doing Forza content, it's unreal. And making solely Forza content on YouTube and TikTok and streaming on Twitch, I've made some great friends. And again, making those friends is more people to come and see you and grow your channel. Now, my last and sort of final point here is sort of streamer echo. When you're new, you obviously want to hype up your channel and tell as many people as possible, which is great if you do it the right way. Going into other people's streams and being like, hey, I'm live, hey, I'm going live now, all, all that other kind of stuff is a huge no-no. And you don't want to be seen as that guy that does that because you're just going to ruin your reputation with everybody. You don't want to be that self-promoter. Same with things like Discord and other social media platforms. If you're linking your stuff on other people's posts, it just doesn't look good. Just use people's self-promote platforms in their Discords or just promote on your own social media. Create a schedule and let people know when you're going to be live, what days you're going to be live. And on top of that, the less you stream, the better. So to summarize, create content elsewhere, make a few friends, and stuff like that through social medias and discord and simply have fun with making content content creation can be a wild roller coaster of emotions some days you'll have the highs and some days you'll just have the lows and just having that positive mindset will get you ahead straight away turning the view account off not looking at your statistics and just enjoying the things you're doing will put you in a better mindset to create content and to keep going so that's it from me i hope you enjoyed and i hope you learned something from this if there's any points that you think i've missed please leave a comment down below if you do want to join my discord there is a link down below if you want to ask more questions thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe if you are new here leave a comment thank you so much see you in the next one